Hi guys, Jalapeno Gal back with another coloring book review. This is a really fun book. And it kind of blends in with my image in the background, but it's called Let It Go by Shirai7. And they have a website and Facebook page you can check this out at as well. Uh, as usual, I'll put a link in the description box if you like it. Um, it's called Let It Go, Coloring and Activities to Awaken Your Mind and Relieve Stress. This book is definitely unique. It is a combination between stress relieving activities and coloring. And the images are very different. It's not a repetition of pattern. Um, it's everything from flying hippos, circus scenes, crowds of people. Uh, you know, it's in the description here. Um, they ask that you begin at the first page, which is not a coloring page. It's an exercise they want you to do prior to coloring. And each time you pick up the book. Also, please visit blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is this is really cool. The first page says, Truly Stress-Free Coloring Book. And they, what they want you to do is um, write one word down, something that has made you unhappy or caused you any stress today or recently. And then you take breath through your nose. It teaches you how to de-stress. And then you black out whatever it is and you start coloring. It's really interesting. And as you go through the book... I'll show you guys the images like I normally do, but see right here, circle meditation is activities for you to actually do that are just fun. I mean, you don't have to do them. It's just fun. It's different. Um, you know, this is good for adults or kids. The kids, I'm sure would love it. I, I like it. My teenagers like it. Um, I'm kind of ADD. I'm all over the place sometimes. So... There's one in here, the coloring waltz, and the instructions say using only three colors. Color the boxes left to right using the same pattern of color you choose. For example, if you choose red, blue, and yellow, try coloring in that order for all the squares. If you have to stop, come back. So you see I got to the fourth row and was like, nah, I'm done. But it's really cool. It looks really neat. You know, I will I will come back to this. I will finish this eventually. But, you know, while I'm sitting there watching TV, this was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, let's get over here to where I colored so I could tell you about the mediums that you can use. Um, I'm just going to start off by showing you the back here. All that yellow that you see is gel pen. It's my gold gel pen. So you can see it doesn't actually bleed through, but you can definitely tell where I colored and you can feel where I colored with the gel pen. Other than that, I used pencils. I used blending mediums. Um, I tried a little bit of um, fine liner right here. It did just fine. There was no bleed through at all. Um, I had a lot of fun with this. I used blending mediums in here and blending pencils in there. I, I hope you guys can see that. I love the gold, how the gold gel pen works with your pictures and your designs. But And then you can see all these designs out here that were really fun. So, um... There's, I think, 40 images in here. The paper is, you know, medium weight. They're all one-sided. And they're perforated. I don't. I know you can't tell, but it's perforated right there. So you can just rip them out instead of having to cut them out or undo the binding. Um, it is glued. The binding is glued. But none of the images run into the seams. So that's not really, you know, a big problem. Um, Let's see, it's smooth, it's not, the paper's not real toothy, it's kind of smooth, but it, it, you can see, you can blend, you can shade, it's, it's not so smooth that it's going to affect you, um, let's see, focuses on de-stressing, unique images, different pictures, not repetitive, they're hand drawn, they're not computer drawn, so as you can see, it's not, it's not the kind of images where they're going to put draw half over here and then mirror flip it so that it's exactly the same on the other side. They're all hand drawn images. Um, oh, another really cool thing about this that they did. In the back, it has a color protector page that you can rip off and put. It's like a cardboard and you can put it between your pages to protect them. But also what I did when I did mine was I didn't tear it out. I just left it like that and did it this way and colored. 
So, I mean, eventually you're going to have to tear it out depending on where you're at in the book because it, you know, it might be too thick to fold over like so. Let me show you. Like it's too thick to fold over. But if you're back here, you don't have to tear it out. You can just leave it in there. So, I thought that was really cool and I thought it was really considerate of the um, artist and the publishers to leave that page in there for you. Never seen that before. I'm, somebody else probably has done it, but I've never seen it. So... I'm going to get to showing you some of these images now. <clears throat> My puppies are in the background. Click clattering with their toenails. Oh, the music doodle. That sounds really fun. It says, uh, think of your favorite song. Got it? Can you hum it? Make sure it's a song you can hum out loud. Put your pen to your paper. Now hum your song, and while moving your pen to your humming, if the notes go up, your lines go up. If the notes go down, move your pen down. Over-exaggerate your movements. You can even close your eyes for this exercise. Really try to translate the tune into your hand movements. Do it for about 15 or 20 seconds. When you're done, it may just look like scribbling to you, but now, take a deep breath, use your creative brain. What can you see in this? Either fill with detail or color. How fun does that sound? Oh, that's really pretty. I'm sorry about them. They, it's been very hard to do these reviews today because they keep hearing a dog outside. So they're just going to keep barking. And barking. Excuse me. I have to keep pausing the videos. I wonder if that's eggs. What do y'all think that is? It's a pretty thick book. It's got a lot of fun stuff to do. As I, as I always say, you know, if you get a book and you only like a couple images in it, then it's a great book to sit on the coffee table with a cup of pencils and let your company play in it while you sit there and visit. Or if your family brings their kids over, it's, you know, great for them to past time with. Oh. Wow, look at that one. Moo moo. Oh. If this video helped you and if you like my reviews, then subscribe and you'll get updated every time I do a review. Uh, let it go great coloring book great activity book very fun 40 images um, Multiple mediums I was able to use on it as I explained so pick it up have some fun. Bye guys